All right. Facebook at it again. Get back up on here. Get back on here. Reshare. Here we go. Let's get the, the numbers back up. Get up on here. Jake's getting on here. Maybe. There, there we go. Hey, man, you're cursed. I, I was trying Ooh. to do it for my iPad, man. I thought I had it figured out. I guess not. <laughs> Dude, pretty soon we're going to get banned just because I brought you on here. I just I, – I crashed the whole system. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. All right, man, up, man. So I'm going to I'm gonna start sharing here. But uh, go ahead. Tell people who you are, what you do. Um, your your history with Patriot Prayer and the Proud Boys and, and kind of like why this is really important for you. Yeah, uh, my name's Jake Farmer, and uh, I've been doing Patriot stuff going on two years now. I think 4th of July will be the anniversary of uh, my history with Antifa and dealing with Antifa and going into Portland and stuff. And um, it's been a while. Joey and I met over a year ago, I think. You know, and I uh, and uh, been helping Joey out and, and, and working with Joey a lot. And uh, uh, right now I'm the chapter president for Vancouver Proud Boys. And, uh, you know, I just we're going to be we're going to be helping out on the 30th. Uh, basically, I'm just going down there. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help, you know, get everybody together, uh, make sure everybody we've we got a lot of guys from out of state coming out. For this event we got guys from hawaii california texas uh new york um it's a pretty big deal and i want to make sure everybody's comfortable everybody has a place to stay and i want to make sure everybody's connected um and uh everybody is in the loop on things and everybody can get in and out of this event safely so uh, basically i mean um uh, that's kind of what i've taken the reins on here is making sure that it, uh it, getting in and getting out of the event safely and making sure everybody has a good time. Um, I'm really excited for this. This is gonna, I think this is going to be a good, uh, this is going to be a good, a good rally. What was your opinions on uh, what happened on June 3rd? June 3rd was nutty, man. I, I, uh, I hadn't gone to an event or a rally in probably two months prior to that. So I was really on the, out of the loop as far as, uh, you know, how active Antifa was. I, you know, I kind of thought they died down. Like you said, like they had in, uh, you know, Seattle and Olympia and other places like that. So I, I really didn't know what to expect. I thought it was going to be, I, I thought it was going to be pretty chill, to be honest. And it, it was definitely the opposite of chill. It was, the, it was probably the most intense, uh, in, uh, intense rally I've, I've ever been to in my life. Um, and it was, it was dangerous. It was sketchy. Uh, I, I would be lying if I said I, I wasn't scared a lot of that time, man, because. We we were really we were we were left hanging. We were really on our own that day, and uh, we we weren't getting a lot of help. And uh, there was we were we were outnumbered, what ten, twenty, thirty to one, forty to one, fifty to one, and uh, they they were out for blood that day, and they got it, you know. And, and uh, they really, I feel like they upped the ante that day. And I'm really, um, I feel confident going into the thirtieth. Uh, with I, I think this is going to be a good thing to show them that, you know, our numbers aren't dwindling. We do have the support and we do have the people just like they do. And, uh, they kind of, a, uh, a screw you to, to Antifa and how they like to talk about our dwindling numbers. That's, that's, that's kind of why I'm excited about. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lindsay, also, if you stay on here, we'll get you up on here too. So, um, did you, so did you kill that guy? Or is he still alive? Or was it a I'm girl that they slammed against the wall? That's uh, not my nipple, by the way. That's just like a weird thing. Sorry. <laughs> that looks like a nipple. <laughs> like a third nip? Um, <laughs> I, I, I was scared. I thought I did for a second. I had to, I had to stand there and wait and make sure he got up. But, uh, no, that was a pretty good I'm, – I'm glad that was filmed. And, if, and if, if you look at some of the other film from a different angle, you can see that that guy's attacking a much smaller – uh, 
man. And that that was a big that was a big guy. That was a pretty big dude. Yeah. And uh and so I just I don't know. So I I went I went red and I, I don't even remember any of that. It just happened so fast. <laughs> yeah, you're moving pretty fast. You're faster than I thought. Faster than I thought. So oh, I look at the, um, you know, I wanna I wanna take this whole thing serious, but looking at the comments here, it looks like most of those people do believe that is your nipple. But anyways, um one of the other things um well, that is one of the other things I think people People want to know, like, why, why is this so important to you? Why is it that you want to go into there on June 30th, especially after something that happened on June 3rd? Not only, like, what, why is it important to you, but, like, are we accomplishing anything is the, people, is the thing that people really want. To, and it's a legitimate question, and people that's want a, to know. That's, so a, what do you think? that's a really good question. And, honestly, my, my reasoning and my want for going into Portland on, on June 30th is no different than – my reason or want for any other time I've ever gone into Portland. I'm not going down there to cause trouble. I'm not going down there to rile up Antifa. I'm not going down there seeking a fight. I know it's going to happen, you know, but, you know, I just want, I want to go down there. I want people to be free to exist. You know, if us yeah. just existing in their space is enough to rile them up or, yeah. Or cause pro that's their problem but you can't tell me that i can't go into portland because it, it it caused a problem you know what i mean and you can't tell these other people that they can't wave an american flag or wear a make american great again hat or shirt because it's just going to cause problems that's not the way it works you should be able to wear whatever you want to wear do whatever you want to do and exist in the same space as these people and you don't get to put your hands on people just because you don't like their hat or their shirt or their message and so you know my wanting to go into Portland again on the 30th is the same as it's always been. I just want people to be able to do what they want to do. I'm not going down there to spread a hate message. I'm not going down there to hurt anybody. I'm not going down there to, uh, to do anything other than to stand there and exist and, and let the people of Portland know that I exist and you exist and it's, and it's okay for us to be there and it's okay for us to exist. And, uh, but, you know, pray for peace, prepare for war I know that I know how Antifa is and I know exactly how this is going to go down. So obviously, you know, helmets, uh, goggles, all that stuff are going to be brought in um, out of our own safety and defense. But that doesn't, you know, I, I would love not to have to use that stuff. You know, I would, you know, if, if this rally, if this turns out to be like, uh, like, like, um, what was it? May, May day, May 1st. That's yeah. okay too. I don't care whether, whether, whether Antifa shows up or not, we're going to have a good time. We don't need Antifa to survive. You know what I mean? We don't True. need Antifa to have a good time. We're still going to have a good time. Yeah. We're still going to spread our positive message and everything's going to be okay with or without them. And uh, so, I mean, so that's really it. That's really good points. I, I hear that, that a lot. Like um, people say I provoke a lot. It's like, I'm actually a pretty nice guy. Like I don't, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just asking to exist in a public park. That's it. Without people it. beating me up. <laughs> That's people, been my goal from people, the very beginning. And people yeah. don't get that. They say it's, provo it's provoking, it's provoking, it's provoking. And that's like, yeah. in some of my speeches, that's what I talk about. Like, no, th <laughs> this is the new America we live in where people think here. that just simply existing, people who have the balls, the courage to actually stand against this hate is called provoking. It's so yeah. crazy. Well, and, and we, you know, you, you know just as well as I do that a lot of people on the left and the right give us the same thing about uh provoking antifa and yeah. you guys aren't doing anything positive you're just going down there to cause a fight and cause a ruckus and what is this accomplishing blah 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 and it's like i said it's just, all we want to do is be able to exist in the same space as everybody else and you know we're not attacking anybody i don't care if i see somebody in a bernie shirt or an antifa shirt or something i'm not going to go out of my way to hurt anybody just because i don't like their message or their politics that's the point is, you know, we're trying to show and, and, and if it just so happens that we go down there and it brings out that hate and that violence, our point is proven either way. So, you know, yeah. we yeah. will, we will, we will defend ourselves like we always do. We're pretty good. We got a couple of people asking questions in terms of pepper spray and all that stuff. You, you can't bring that outside the park. We will have people that will be able to hold stuff for you as you guys go into the park. The park's going to be 100% yeah. secure. The March Looks like there's a chance that it will be secure, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Pepper spray and all that stuff is, in, 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 uh, helmets and goggles is always good to have. 
um, yeah, on the march. Absolutely, absolutely want to make sure. Please, All right, Jake, anything please, else you got to say? Please bring eye protection. Please um, oh, yeah. think think about a helmet if you're going to be in the mix. Um, you know, think about bringing like a backpack with like a change of shirt, um, a towel. You know, some milk of magnesia. You know, they they really uh, they're really on this pepper spray kick right now, and they're really they're really uh, going hard with that. So, uh, just everybody yeah, totally. be be responsible for your own safety. Um, you know, there are going to be people to help you down there, um, but I think everybody needs to to bring their own their own necessities uh, just in case, just in case you know, whatever. But uh, I'll see everybody on the thirtieth. I'm I'm really excited. Uh, Joey, thanks for having me on. I'm excited Absolutely. to see you, man. Absolutely. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Jake. Appreciate All right. it. Thank All right, up next you. we got we got Pete Peters, aka Political Muscle. Oh, oh, oh! He's gonna show us something that he doesn't want us to see. Okay, good. I, I heard about the ice docs agents. We can talk about that in a little bit. Pete Peters, I need you to send me an invite. Um. Let's get you up on here. I know you're in a hurry. Oh, there you are. I'll send it to you. Fine. You're, you're too slow. I'll send it to you. Oh, my goodness. It stopped again. Ah!